Praise the Lord, boys and girls. Hi, I'm Sister Selvi. I'm going to be your Sunday school teacher today for grades three through five. Let's go before the Lord in prayer before we get started with our lesson. Dear Lord God, we thank and praise you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for allowing us to see another day. Oh God, we thank you for our lesson on today. Lord God, bless the students, help them to understand the lesson and receive it in their hearts and help them to share it with others, Lord God. We pray for the pastors, wife and family, bless them in a special way, Lord God. We pray for our church body in whole, Lord God. We thank you for solemn assembly and the things that you're teaching and guiding and directing us, Lord Jesus, through solemn assembly, Lord God. Bless each and every one, Lord Jesus, we thank and praise you in Jesus' name, amen. Well, let's get started with the lesson. The title of our lesson today is Go With God. Who are you listening to? And our lesson comes from Deuteronomy 18, 15 through 22, the easy read version. Let's go. Look at these boys and girls. Let's read what's going on here. The blogger I read said to spin around three times and the direction you stop is the way to go. No, the TikTok post I saw said we need to stop, wait for a small animal to run past and follow it. That would be the way to go. Who should we believe? Who's right? We get so many messages on what we should do and how we should live our lives. Our friends are telling us what we see on TV and social media sites like Snapchat, Instagram, and TikTok influence us. Who do we listen to? Who's right? Well, you don't have to be confused. God wants us to listen to him. God has a roadmap for our lives in his word, the Bible. We must listen to him. Let's get into some lesson background for our story today. In the Old Testament, when God spoke to his people and gave direction, it was primarily through the prophets. They were the direct line to hear from God. Moses was the prophet leader who God used to free the Israelites or the Jews from Egypt and lead them to the promised land. God gave them lands that other nations lived in. Many of these nations had ways and religious beliefs that went against God's commandments. Moses was warning the Israelites to follow God's ways, not be influenced by the behaviors of the people in the land that he was giving them. He was telling them to listen to God's prophet. What's a prophet? One who tells what God says about the things that will happen in the future. They speak God's truth. They warn leaders and everyday people like us so that we can change our ways. They encourage us and give us hope. All their messages come from God, not from them. This is the time to get your Bibles, whether they're electronic or paper, Paper and follow along. Again, we'll be reading from Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 15 through 22. And if you have an electronic Bible, we will be in the easy read version. Let's get started. Deuteronomy 18, 15, and 16. He comes from the people. Verse 15. The Lord your God will send to you a prophet. This prophet will come from among your own people and he will be like me. You must listen to him. Moses is the prophet speaking here and he's prophesying and telling the people about Jesus, the ultimate prophet. Jesus will be the prophet that the Israelites and all of us must listen to in order to have a relationship with God. Peter in the New Testament Let's the people know that Moses' prophecy had come to pass in Acts 3.22. He says, Moses said that your God will give you a prophet. The prophet will come from among your own people. He will be like me. You must obey everything he tells you. Peter was witnessing to the people that what Moses said had come to pass in Jesus. Jesus was that prophet. Moses spoke what God told him about Jesus coming as a prophet like him from among the people, one of their own. Jesus came from the same people, the Israelites. Though born into the world in a supernatural way through the Holy Spirit, he was raised up among the people. 
verse 16. God will send this prophet because that is what you asked him to do when you were gathered together at Mount Horeb. You became frightened and said, don't let us hear the voice of the Lord our God again. Don't let us see the great fire or we will die. God spoke to the people directly in Horeb at the base of the mountain in the Old Testament. As he spoke to them, fire and smoke covered the mountain and his voice made their insides shake like ours might feel when we hear a very, very loud firework go off. But I believe it was even more intense than that. So the people asked for God to talk to Moses and let Moses talk to them. Moses would tell them what God said. Moses was the go-between mediator between God and the people. Like Moses, Jesus is our mediator, our go-between. He intercedes for us to God. Let's continue. Verse 17. The Lord said to me, what they ask for is good. God agrees with what the people ask and said it was a good idea. God would speak to his people through the prophet. Verse 18 and 19. I will send them a prophet like you. The prophet will be one of their own. I will tell him what he must say and he will tell the people everything I command. This prophet will speak for me and I will punish anyone who refuses to listen to my commandments. Again, the verses are talking about Jesus who will be the prophet savior because of his sacrifice on the cross and resurrection from the grave. We can have access to God through Jesus if we do what he says and accept Jesus as our Lord and savior. Those who do not, God will reject. Let's continue. the test of a true prophet. But a prophet might say something that I did not tell him to say. He might tell people that is that he is speaking for me. If this happened, the prophet must be killed. Also, a prophet might come that speaks for other gods. That prophet must also be killed. You might be thinking, how can we know if something the prophet says is not from God? Well, God gives us some tests right here. If what they say does not come true, eh, eh, they're a false prophet. In the Old Testament, there was a stiff penalty for a false prophet who was proven not to be speaking what God said. They were to be killed. The test also, if they spoke in the names of other gods, lowercase g, they were also to be killed. Let's continue. Verse 22, if a prophet said he's speaking for the Lord, but what he says does not happen, you will know that the Lord did not say it. You will know that that prophet was speaking on his own. You don't need to be afraid of him. What is Moses saying here? When Moses uses the word afraid here, he means you don't have to reverence or respect them because they are lying. If they're a prophet and they only speak what God tells them, it will come true. If it doesn't, they are a false prophet. Also in Deuteronomy 13, one through five, God gives us some additional directions on how we should know if a person is a true prophet or a false prophet. If the person tells you something and it does come true, but they give the credit to other gods, lowercase g, you should not listen to them. God could be testing you. If the prophet is speaking against the word of God, you should not listen to them. They're trying to turn you against God. God tells us to love God and follow his commandments only. In the Old Testament, in the Israelites were told to put these prophets to death also. Again, that's in Deuteronomy 13, one through five. In the New Testament, Peter speaks to the church on how God wants us to deal with false prophets. In 2 Peter 2 and 1, it says, in the past there were false prophets among the people. It is the same now. You will have some false teachers in your group. They will teach you in ways that will be hard for you to see that they are wrong. They will even refuse to follow the master Jesus who bought their freedom so they 
quickly destroy themselves. What does God mean when he say they will destroy themselves? What is Peter saying? It means God sees and knows what they're doing and will hold them accountable and judge them. Let's continue. Who are you listening to? A person that you might be influenced by or listening to for direction on what you should do with your life may not be calling themselves a prophet. They may be a friend, your favorite social media blogger, your favorite musician, artist, et cetera. They can fall in any category. But if you are following them and they're telling or leading you to do things that's against what God says and teaches us in the Bible, they are leading you wrong and you shouldn't be listening to them. Go with God. Jesus is the one who we should be listening to. Read and study the Bible. Pray and ask Jesus for direction for your life. For I take advice from those who will point you to what the Bible says for answers, like the pastor, your parents, and your Sunday school teaching. Let's look at our lesson outcomes. A prophet only speaks what God tells them to say. God gives us ways to know if a person is a true or false prophet. Next, Moses was a prophet. He spoke what God said to the people of Israel. He prophesied about Jesus. Who are you listening to? Make sure you're listening to people who are directing you in the way God wants you to go. Pray and study God's word to help you to know if you are listening to the right people. This week's challenge, examine more closely the shows you watch, the music you listen to, and your social media sites. Pick one of these areas and check and see if it is directing you to do things that Jesus would approve of, or if it's influencing you to do things that he is against. If it's the latter, replace that with something that would help you follow what Jesus would want. If you haven't already, develop a daily devotional period. Make it the same time every day and read your Bible and pray. If you want to know more how to have a closer relationship with the Lord and how to become part of his family, please call us here at the Apostolic Faith Church, 773-373-8500. A minister or a minister helper will be there to answer the call and give you more direction. Well, that's the end of our lesson. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the lesson on today, Lord God. Help us to listen to you, Lord God, and do the things, Lord God, that you would have us to do. Thank you for allowing us to know the difference between a true prophet and a false prophet. Help us to be directed by the things that are going to guide us to you through your word, Lord God. We thank and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, boys and girls, see you next time. Have a blessed week. Bye-bye.